One of the best implementations of the 1.19 update are the ancient cities, which have become the longest structure in the entire game. However, these ancient cities had many secrets and also many questions. Who the hell built them? Well, in this video I will give you thousands of proofs that show that villagers are responsible for ancient cities. For this reason, the villagers created the ancient cities. Welcome back to Bobbycraft, but in English! Before getting into the matter, I want to tell you something important, and that is that ancient cities are extremely difficult to discover. In fact, it has become the most difficult structure to find, and if you have already searched for it in your survival world, you will know what I'm talking about. But maybe you are not looking in the right place. If you go to any mine and you start mining like crazy, you will never find it. This is because ancient cities are not generated like any other cave in Minecraft. The first thing you should do before going mining is to avoid all kinds of flat biomes. Never go to deserts, much less to the plains. You should always go to mountainous areas and once you find a big mountain, look for caves nearby. Once you enter the caves in these mountains, sooner or later you will get an ancient city. Look at this seed. You can see that in all these flat areas there is no ancient city. And when we go to the mountainous areas with the snow, there is a lot. Having commented on that, now yes, we will begin by commenting on something interesting about the villagers. Surely you have already noticed that the villagers and also the illagers have a very similar similar appearance, the same heads, the same noses, but with the difference that the illagers are grey. But if the illagers are just bad, why would they be this color? Well, it all seems that the villagers have COVID-19. No, I'm just kidding, but they are sick. But wait, what's the point of the illagers being sick? The truth is that it is not known. The only reference is the prefix of his name. Possibly this disease makes them extremely aggressive. This disease is possibly what made the villagers and the illagers have separated and each one has created their own civilization, causing the illagers to have to build a new home. In this case, they are antic mansions. And one of the biggest differences between the villagers and the pillagers is that they are mobs extremely intelligent and very strategic. It is noted that they love to study all kinds of knowledge, while the villagers prefer to lead a quieter life. But in addition to those differences, there is another difference that is very clear. The villagers, every time they build a new village, they build them with the blocks found in those biomes. If we go to the villages of the sheets, they are clearly made with the wood of the sheet. If we go to the snowy villages of the same way, they are made of snow, ice and pine trees, and so on. But villagers do not do this. Villagers usually place battle stations in this town. Hours. These towers can be generated in practically all biomes. The interesting thing is that they don't matter what biome they are in. These towers are always going to have exactly the same dark wood and exactly the same stone. The fact that these towers don't change their wood color makes a lot of sense. In the mansions there is a room with a gigantic map. That is to say that they are so tactical that they know where to place their pillager towers. So every time they go to build one of these towers would we'll take the dark wood where the mansions are located. Because you have to remember that the mansions are located in the dark forest. Something too smart since these trees can grow too tall, providing a gigantic amount of good in a single tree. The villagers will take an advantage of all this good for each of their constructions. Which by the way, curiously the villagers tower justifies how the villagers are able to arrive quickly when the invasions of the villages begin at the time of killing the captain of the villagers outpost. They have practically covered the whole world, however, that is not the most curious thing. The interest the interesting thing is when you analyze the structures of ancient cities. First of all, ancient cities have exactly the same wood, dark wood, regardless of the biome. Now look at this intersection. The two structures have exactly the same torches. They also have the same walls with the stone walls. Even the same stone block exactly below these walls. Both have trunks lying in exactly the same positions. Even the pillars are made with unrefined trunk. And not only that, the fences are also in exactly the same position. It is clear that this is not about any coincidence. Also, this is not the only interesting structure in ancient cities. In practically all places you can find wooden bridges, but the most important is this one here, a giant pile of wool, a structure that will remind us of a room where mansions exist, which has the same wool with the same colors. So to know what it is, I made a world with all the structures of the ancient city, and I found that these structures are called camp. 
This here used to be a camp, and we can see it on the small table or even in the campfire. It even appears with some logs to sit on. This destroys a popular theory which said that this wool supposedly represents that stiff. Really, this room is a wool warehouse because we have seen how the looters use wool too much in their rooms and in their mega structures made of wool. But if even knowing all this, you think that the color of these camps is just a coincidence, see what the developer, King B. Dogs, creator of the Warden, said. On one occasion, they told him to please change the color of the wool because it looked ugly. And the developer replied, the colors are meant to stand out, not to blend. That is, they have a meaning. But why? He left us that question. Well, in my opinion, this whole place was the area where the looters very surely slept and rested. They could eat or even have the fire, they give them heat. Even in this structure, we can find carpets on the floor, something similar to their beds. Perhaps they lay on them, but the evidence doesn't end here. Below the typical portal in the center, we find an area full of mechanisms. This suggests that an advanced civilization could have done all of this. Let's remember that the villagers are extremely intelligent. So intelligent that on one occasion, they already used the redstone mechanisms inside their mansions. And not only that, in their mansions, we can find a lot of gray wool. And once again, we can find it in the buildings of the ancient cities. But then why? Why the hell would the villagers have done all of this? Well, there is something very interesting in this species. The villagers are obsessed with life. They literally play to be God. Not for a reason they have created life totems. Not for a reason they have created devastating giants. A giant creature with life. Not for a reason they have captured the allies. Perhaps from them they learned to create a new life. The Vex. They have always loved to create new forms of life. But during their investigations and creations to understand life and death, they will have established a gigantic underground base. Just in case something go out of control. Because this time they would mess with something more dangerous, rituals and souls. And as I explained in the mystery of disc 5, they would end up generating an unwanted creature, an abomination of the nature that should never have been created. Perhaps they have obtained the materials from a dimension that we don't know, since this wouldn't be the first time that they had knowledge of portals and dimensions, since in dimensions there is a small representation of an end portal with wool. Although there is another open question, what originated the interest in this portal? An answer that Mojang doesn't want to tell us yet. But another coincidence that seems incredible to me is that in these mansions there are places that are too similar to ancient cities. This room here is called the Sanctuary of White Tulips. A sanctuary is a temple or place where the image or relic of a saint, a divinity or a spirit. Perhaps that flower also represents life. And I want you to notice how this sanctuary is full of stairs. I don't know if it's a coincidence, but there are also very similar ones in ancient cities. But that coincidence is not a unique, because there is a specific room in the mansions, which is called the ritual room, further proof that the illagers are obsessed with life and death. Click on the left to see an interesting Minecraft video, and on the right you have another video suggested by the YouTube algorithm.